Uh, can you just elaborate on, you know, the coach kind of talks, talks about you being that emotional leader, you know, a couple of games, last game. And, uh, well, can you elaborate what it means to you to, you know, inspire people, including Kawhi, to be more vocal on the team? Uh, it's just, you know, it's just, I think it's just my DNA. Uh, you know, I was like that when I was in Houston. I've been like that, you know, to I am. You know, I love basketball with a, with a, with a passion, a very strong passion. I uh, wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have a game. And, uh, you know, like I said before, when I'm out there, I feel like, you know, I'm outside in the streets of Chicago and, you know, all the pain that I got inside in the past, I'm, I'm able to uh, unleash it on the court. So uh, I'm just I'm just happy I was able to gauge it uh, these last couple of years and kind of use it for positivity. Uh, uh, also, it was, uh, you feel like you're just kind of having a lot of fun tonight. You know, you're shooting, hitting threes, looking at the, the you know, the other team's bench. You know, can you just like right on? I want that it. shot to go viral, like how y'all be putting <laughs> everybody else shot. Let my shit go viral too now. Show me some love. Hey, hey, hey we got you, man. Can, can you just talk about how, you know, just the energy you all had brought tonight? Now, we knew we were uh, down, obviously. Uh, you know, PG wasn't playing. Obviously, Kawhi wasn't playing. Kind of banged up a little bit. And um, the guys just stepped up. Guys just stepped up. We knew this was a game where, you know, Cleveland is a good young team, good thirsty team. Uh, they played the right way, well coached. And, you know, one of my, my old coaches, uh, JB Biggerstaff, he got them playing the right way. So we, we understood this, you know, this is not just one of those games. So we have to be prepared. And we came out, we punched first, and, uh, and you know, we, we, we they responded and we responded well also. Thanks. Thanks. We're over to Cam. Three pointers are looking pretty solid. Um, which is most impressive to you? The the team had 30 or 10 total turnovers. Which is the most impressive to you? Uh, the assist. I think it's hard uh, going against any team, especially in this, in this league now. You know, everyone had these special defenses and and uh, the shot blocking they have and McGee and, uh, and Allen uh, to kind of get assists. And, you know, we had 31 a day that shows that, you know, we're definitely a potent team, and we play well when we move the ball. But I think all that came from our defense and transition. So, uh, 31 assists for sure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Let's go over to Farbon. Hey, Pat. Um, I've had fans internationally, whether it's from France or Brazil, tell me about how your brand of basketball and the way you play inspires them to get up at 4 a.m. to watch the Clippers because they see how motivated you are. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. How does it feel to you when it's like to you, you're just hooping, but across the globe, it could be getting somebody so excited they get up at 4 a.m. to watch you play? I mean, that's what it's about, right? I mean, I remember I was overseas and I used to get up at the same time trying to trying to catch those NBA games too. So um, it's crazy hearing, hearing, hearing me, you know, other people watching it, you know, come to see us play. So uh, we never take the game for granted, obviously. Um, came a long way. Uh, started overseas, you know, started in the mud, you know, uh, didn't take the easy route. So... Obviously, you know, easy tip my hat to any fan that's, you know, abroad or back home in Chicago or in the States that's, that's able to watch our games. Never take it for granted, for sure. Thanks, Farba. We've got time for a couple more. We'll go to Tomer. So ain't nobody going to ask me about my 4,000 points today? What the fuck? What's going on? First, first of all, Pat, uh, congratulations on 4,000 points. Damn, and, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Post you know, look three. I did post that. Okay, we post it. <laughs> Y'all um, like to post all the bad stuff. I say post the good stuff, man. Come on. I, I'm the only one that posted it so far. I don't know about the rest of them. But okay, well, I challenge everyone else, man. <laughs> um, you're obviously a guy who feeds off the fans. I'm curious, you've been through, I guess, 20-some games now. What's it been like without the fans, both at home and on the road? How, how's that experience been? It's, been? it's been hard, for sure. Um especially on the road, you know, everybody like to give me an extra hard time, but uh, especially our fans, you know, we've been, we've been pulling in a good crowd, you know, since I came with the Clippers and, you know, uh, before we got Kawhi, when we were just the eighth seed, you know, playing Golden State, you know, we try to represent the city really well. So without those guys, it's extremely hard, but I think things are starting to open up, things are starting to clear up and hopefully we can uh, get fans in after All-Star, maybe uh, even for the playoffs. So. Thanks, Pat, and congrats on 4K. Thank you, man. Thanks. We'll go over to Andrew Greif. Hey, Pat. Um, hey, hey, obviously, Lou was in such a groove the last few years playing with Trez. That two-man game was so strong. Yeah, y'all tried to, y'all tried to down my boy too when he was when he was struggling. Let's say that also. A lot of people was against him. 
Well, now, now everybody back on the side too. So let's let's also say that. Well, I was going to say these last six games, clearly the best he's played all year. What have you seen from the way he's kind of uh, paired up with with Zoo with Marcus and kind of found some more chemistry with a whole new, almost a whole new second unit? I think he had to get his rhythm and his legs on, under him. You know, everybody everybody thinks Lou, I don't know, is, 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 is 23, 25 because he looks so young. Um, you know, uh, going from the bubble, you know, quick turnaround. You know, he's been in the league since, you know, high school. So, you know, he got some miles on him, you know, so it take those legs to kind of get started. And we're happy those legs here now. You know, he's been dangerous. He's been, uh, he's been great in the locker room. He's been great with the first unit, when he, obviously, today. Uh, great with the second unit. Attitude has been great, man. I, you know, I, you know, we want to we want to be here for a long time, me and Lou. You know, that's why we came here to do this thing, and hopefully, it pans out the way we want it to. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, brother. That's it. We'll take our last question from Law Murray. Hey, Pat. Uh, we're going to just keep talking about your numbers and accomplishments. So um, this is legit, though. I've been I've been watching all season. I've been watching your career. You've always been an above-average three-point shooter, and people don't really talk about your shooting. They talk about They don't like me. That's why. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. four more threes tonight. You weren't playing a week ago, and here you come out, four threes. You're shooting 44% for the season. So what is different with your shot this year? And is there a chance that you could just shoot – more threes uh, with um, the efficiency that you're putting up. I think that, the, 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 you know, at the end of the season, our front office gives, uh, you know, a breakdown of what you did good and what you didn't do good. One of the breakdowns is uh, that I didn't know. And, you know, you know, you think you know stuff until you see it on paper. And one of the breakdowns for me was uh, turning down shots. And, uh, you know, with this new coaching staff, I've been, you know, they, they've been telling me to just let it fly. Even if it's contested, Pat, let it fly. I mean, you... Historically, you wanted the top shooters in the NBA. Numbers show it. Percentages show it. Just let it fly. And, uh, if, you know, T. Lou, Kenny, Big Shot, you know, D.C. It's giving me so much confidence, you know, offensively, especially playing with Kawhi and PG. Just let it fly. And um, and I've been fortunate to kind of those, those shots been going in. Thanks, Pat. That's all we got for you tonight. Cheers, Cheers brothers. 4K. Take care.